Mexico's drug war has spurred a new type of narco ballad that's become increasingly popular both in Mexico and the U.S. The lyrics tell an alternate version of the war on drugs from the point of view of outlaws confronting the Mexican army. FSRN's Mariana Martinez reports. <laughs> Thousand people filled Volcan Concert Hall in Tijuana, waiting to see Alfredo Rios, also known as El Commander. He is a singer in his late twenties, famous for his songs about performing beheadings, executions, and daring escapes from the Mexican army. His birthplace, Culiacán, Sinaloa, is widely known as home of the narco ballad, or corrido, and now, Commander is the most prominent face of the newest trend of corrido, called Movimiento Alterado, roughly translated as Altered State. As he goes on stage, the crowd cheers and makes hand gestures, mimicking a gun, firing at someone, putting the gun away, and even calling the boss to say the job has been done. Corrido music has been a part of Mexican tradition for nearly a century, but this new, hyper-violent breed can be traced directly to the war on drugs waged by President Felipe Calderón since 2006, as Dr. Carlos Ramirez Pimienta from San Diego State University explains. At that time, we started to see a change, transformation in, 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 the, in the topics of narco corrido. They became more violent as Mexican society, as, as Mexican uh, reality was becoming more uh, violent. The songs challenge official versions of the confrontations between organized crime and the Mexican armed forces. They ridicule authorities and praise drug lords. Lyrics glorify luxury cars, ultimate fighting, drugs, alcohol, and beautiful women as objects of desire. In many ways, it is similar to gangster rap, as it promotes a certain lifestyle that many condemn. The graphic lyrics have been rejected by some Mexicans as they advocate breaking the law and many fear it is an apology to crime and a bad example for kids. Oscar Samudio is a taxi driver in Mexico City who likes corridos yet says they have bad consequences. I like them, but they promote violence because of what they say. Now anyone believes they can be narco. In Mexico, the law prohibits the broadcast of narco corridos on the radio or in public transportation. Yet, this is hard to enforce and taxi drivers like Samudio say they have never been fined for playing corridos in their cabs. Despite the restrictions, Movimiento Alterado has proliferated on the internet. Some YouTube videos have more than 13 million views and some Facebook fan pages have thousands of members. The trend also includes a style of clothing. One designer, 25-year-old Tijuana native Eleno Serna, offers stylized military vests he calls pecheras, which have grown popular with women. We might use pink vinyl, pink and purple crystals. Instead of a skull, we put a revolver with a flower, something feminine, and yet with a touch of violence that defines Antrax clothes. The Antrax logo depicts two M16 rifles over three human skulls. Other clothing designs include a t-shirt riddled with bullet holes and a Taliban skull with an AK-47. Serna's most famous design shows a high contrast profile of a man who looks like Ismael El Mayo Zambada, one of the most wanted drug traffickers and believed to be one of the richest and most powerful men in Mexico. Serna is already exporting his clothing to Canada and has many customers, such as 19-year-old Steve Suniga, who recently quit school and dreams about becoming a professional musician. I've written songs for my band. I have over 22 songs. Most of them are narco ballads, but a few are about romance. The gender popularity expands to many people who aren't involved in the drug trade, including Manuel Marquez, a shy 18-year-old with a soft voice who grew up in Chula Vista. In school, before I graduated, all of us talked about it in school, about the new songs, new bands. He's hoping to become a police cadet in the spring, and he already knows what he will do when he has some savings. 
<laughs> First thing I want is to get an anthrax vest. That has been my goal, to one day buy a vest like that. The vests cost between $500 and $800 each. According to Professor Pimienta, narco ballots have a powerful meaning for kids like Marquez and Zuniga, Mexican-Americans and recent immigrants who are living in the U.S. facing racism, discrimination, police abuse and limited opportunities. What these uh, songs provide is uh, three minutes of narratives with powerful Mexicans. And, and that could be intoxicated for, intoxicating for the Mexican community to have these narratives of Mexicans who are not afraid, Mexicans who are very successful, Mexicans that the, the police, the authorities do not mess with them. For the musicians, many aren't just singing about the drug trade or drug lords. Narco ballad singers are often the target of attacks. Some have been killed or jailed. Clica Los Necios lead singer Rafael Becerra takes a deep breath and a pause when I ask him if and how he asks for permission to sing about drug lords. It is what it is. All the songs we sing are approved. We don't sing something unless it is approved. If it is not, we don't sing it. You have to take precautions, you know? Mariana Martinez, Free Speech Radio News, Tijuana, Mexico. Tierra Blanca. Cuanto quiero